Uh, people talk about you know, the quality of design as, as though it's some kind of sacrosanct, um, distilled essence that architects are able to sort of just drop into a project. But actually, the quality of a project is something that can, is, can be only judged over a length of time. And that depends, of course, entirely on the client, uh, the specification, and how well it's looked after and maintained. You see, if you, and if you make children, that, that effectively the clients, if you say to them, you're not passing through, you know, this is not somewhere temporary for you, but this is yours. This belongs to you, and you have the choice of either trashing it or looking after it. What happens? Well, generally speaking, what happens is in that relationship between designers and local education authorities and, and children, the kids say, uh, oh, we'll look after it. I mean, I've been to several schools, new ones, where exactly that relationship has been engendered where the architects have talked to the kids and the kids the architects and they work together and the kids have been treated like clients and the kids say in sometimes in very very deprived circumstances this building this place this beautiful object is a gift to us and so we feel first of all honored by that but we also feel as though we should respect it and look after it and that very act of understanding the quality of what is in your environment and looking after it I think has a huge social impact. It has a huge impact on the way that kids growing up feel towards the environment they're in and towards their fellow man and woman. It's, it's, about, it's about that funny word which they, they, they are wont to use a lot, which is respect. And um, it, is, it, can be, it can be instilled in the built environment and it can be a very powerful force, I think, for changing people.